what is the dead or who are the dead for me? They're not the best at what they do. They're the only ones that do what they do. People are not gonna stop needing this music. There's a lot of people that want to hear this music live. They want to hear it go on. They want to hear it live forever. There's so many ways that the Grateful Dead paths that the music has pushed people in. Everybody's got their own little subculture, their own niche. The songs of Garcia and Hunter, Weir and Barlow, that's the anchor. It's like the Dead created open source music. Everybody says you can throw a stone, hit a Grateful Dead cover band. You could swing a stick and hit a Grateful Dead tribute band. Jerry's friendship with my father had a profound impact and, and showed me how much fun music could be and they were such a, an amazing teaching force. People haven't heard the Grateful Dead before, but now like they're, that was really interesting and they're into it. And that's a, kind of an amazing thing to be kind of having them torch for a moment and be able to pass it to people. Anthony. He's the type of person that he'll call you up and he'll say, I want to rebuild the wall of sound. Nine speakers on the bottom, nine on the top, and same on the other side. So Phil could use his quad bass and, uh, and send each string to its own nine speakers if they wanted to. Shakedown Street has been a wonderful place for the community to gather. But it was this free market thing there. Everybody was out selling their merchandise, whether it was t-shirts or sandwiches. They'd stitch up a pair of beaded earrings and walk around and say, you know, who wants to buy earrings? $10, because the ticket was $9 and they'd sell one pair of earrings, have enough money to buy a ticket and get into the show. So people were so eclectic and so different and there was so much to see. Oh, what magical fairy tale is this? My first Grateful Dead concert that I ever attended, wandered around Shakedown Street the entire night, never went into the show. Just hung out in Shakedown Street and had the time of my life. You know, getting to see everybody from show to show, helping each other out. Shakedown's the last American freedom the place where you can set up yourself, do your own thing, be your own person. The Deadhead is that person, wherever they turn up in society, that's looking for an adventure in America. A very American thing of the past that I don't feel like we have much anymore. Like You had this extended family everywhere you went. All the friends that we have met at shows, and they've become lifelong friends. The idea of the Grateful Dead is an idea of acceptance. It doesn't matter whether you are you know, a person selling t-shirts on the lot for a living, or you're a bond trader. Everybody believes in this little bit of magic that the Grateful Dead created. I think you need that live experience even more. That real world, like, wow, more, because we're all day like this. And that probably is even more of a need for that than when the dead were here. But I think that this community is special because it's carried on for 50 years. And this has just been the, the grandest adventure that any individual can ask for. And they will not fade away, you can count on it.